Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Big Brigade. I'm running a little late. <laughs> this is our uh, devotional for uh, Monday, January 9th. Forgive me, I had to double check the date. And as uh, I usually do on Mondays, I read our prayer list. So I'm going to read it as follows. It starts with Jody Fink, Krista Sorrells, Annie Knight, Amy Smith, Karen Dodge, Kelly McNear, Kelly Manier, Manier, Cindy and Robert with Pups and Crochet, Linda Coulter and family, Marcia Norton and family, Lisa the Grammy, uh, Alana Hawkins, uh, my mom Peggy, Sonia West, Deborah Hypes, Almarina Gilbert, Sharice uh, uh, Crochet's channel, and uh, a new one, uh, Camper 14, as we know her on the YouTube streets, uh, also known as Tina. So if y'all would please remember those folks when you do your praying, I'd greatly appreciate that. So, and this is for Monday, January 9th. And as usual, our uh, devotional start with a uh, prayer prayer. Uh, with a Bible verse, and then an inspirational story, and then end with a faith step. So here is our Bible verse. The Lord does not see as man sees, for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Samuel 16, 7. Now our inspirational story. This diamond is for my grandmother's wedding ring. I handed the heirloom to the jeweler. My aunt had it reset in this contemporary design, but I'd like a vintage setting reflective of the year my grandparents were married, 1929. The jeweler peered through a loop to inspect the stone. This diamond is over 100 years old, she said. Jim Cutters stopped cutting like this in 1918. She explained the bottom was flat instead of pointed like modern stones, so it didn't sparkle as brilliantly as it could if it were faceted rather than flat. Oh no, was the diamond worthless? The jeweler must have sensed my concern. She assured me the stone was unique, complimenting its color and clarity, even as she spotted inconclusions beneath the surface that I couldn't see. Then she recommended a lovely white gold filigree setting cast from an original 1920s wedding ring. It was perfect. Unlike the jeweler, Jesus doesn't need a loopy to see the inconclusions hidden by my outward sparkle. He knows the history that shaped me, the brokenness that colors me, and the imperfections that cloud my clarity. But Jesus doesn't call me flawed. He calls me redeemed. I have great value to him. I'm a gem. He, he is polishing. A light in the darkness. I want to shine brilliantly for him. Karen Sargent. Faith Step. Ask Jesus to inspect your heart and reveal what he sees. Identify facets that have lost their luster and choose one. What do you need to what do you need so that facet can shine brighter for him? That's a real good one. That's a real good one. I think we could all all use a little polish every now and then. <laughs> Well, I hope y'all have a wonderful Monday. I do love you and so does Jesus. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.